Hello and happy Sunday. I hope you had a great week this past week. Um, today our Sunday school lesson is about a man named Stephen. And we find his story in the book of Acts, chapter 6, verses 8 through 7. And Acts is found in the New Testament. I will be reading out of our Sunday school book. Stephen was a man in the early church who had great faith and power. He loved God and believed Jesus was the Savior God had promised to send. Stephen had an important message. He told people about Jesus and began to do miracles among the people. Some of the Jews were angry. They did not like what Stephen said, especially when he talked about Jesus. And they argued with Stephen. God gave Stephen such wisdom that he won every single argument. The Jews enlisted other men to lie about Stephen. We have heard Stephen say bad things about God. The liars told the people, these liars stirred up the crowd and the people dragged Stephen before the Jewish leaders. As the men continued to lie about Stephen in front of the religious leaders, people saw that Stephen's face looked like an angel. The high priest asked Stephen, are these charges true? Stephen began to speak. He told stories of Abraham, Jacob, Joseph, and Moses. Stephen also spoke about King David and King Solomon. Then Jesus told the Jewish leaders how they had been the ones to kill Jesus, the righteous one of God. The leaders were furious. When the crowd heard Stephen, they became angry. Stephen, however, was filled with the Holy Spirit. He looked into heaven and exclaimed, look, I see heaven opened up and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. The people screamed, covered their ears and ran up to Stephen. They dragged him out of the city and began to throw stones at him. Stephen prayed and asked God to forgive the people. Then Stephen died. Okay. This particular Bible story is, um, it's a hard story to read and probably hard to listen to. What I want you all to know is that just because you are a Christian, just because you choose to love and follow Jesus, does not mean that every day is going to be a happy day. It doesn't mean that trouble and disappointment will never come. It also doesn't mean that people will always like you or that they will always want to hear about the God that you serve. What this story teaches us is that even in those times of trouble, even in those times where we feel threatened because of what we believe and whom we believe in, it is so important that we stand firm on our beliefs, that we stand firm on the word of God, that we stand firm in our belief in Jesus Christ and being the son of God and the one that died on the cross for our sins and rose on the third day and is coming back again. It's important that we hold on to those things, regardless of what other people think and what other people say and what they do or attempt to do or threaten to do. It's also important that in those times that we ask God to forgive those people who don't believe and forgive those people who are trying to do us harm and who do us harm to the very end. Because just as we are unworthy of God's forgiveness, he still forgave us. And we should still ask that he forgive the sins of others. You know, we, we even hear about forgiveness when we say the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
um, forgive us, you know, our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. You know, that's what it's talking about. Like, Lord, please forgive us as we forgive those people who hurt us, who, who do us wrong. There are people right now in this world um, who are like Stephen. They're missionaries who go out um, many times to dangerous places where it's against the law to even carry a Bible, to even say the name of Jesus. And they are called by God to go to these places because everyone deserves to hear about the goodness of Jesus. And so they face um, many dangers day after day for the sake of Jesus Christ. Now we live in the United States and as of right now, we are free to worship whomever we want. We have people who who worship Jesus. We have people who worship um, Allah. We have people who worship statues. And, you know, people are free to believe in whatever they want to believe in in this country. And we're not put in jail or in prison because of what we believe in. There's nothing to say that one day that may change. We don't know. But what is important is that we are not to let anyone change our minds about Jesus Christ. He is our Savior. God is his Father. We worship them and them alone. And so I want you to remember that even to the end, God was still with Stephen. He didn't leave him out there by himself. He saw heaven. He saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And so he knew that he was not alone, that God was with him. And so I want you to know that God will always be with you. He's not going to leave you. Hold on to his word. Hold on to him. And don't be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. We are called to be on mission with God. And that mission is to share about him and to love everybody. Regardless of of if they're doing the right thing or the wrong thing. We're called to love. And it's a hard thing. Stephen showed us that was the wrong thing. But did you see how when they tried to debate him, God made sure that there was never a debate or an argument that he lost? God was with him. He was with him. Even when there were liars, people lying on him, saying things that he did not say, God was still with him because he, Stephen, continued to stand firm on the word of God. My challenge to you is to stand on the word of God. Stand firm on it regardless of of what people say they will do, or what they won't do, know that God's got your back. He's got you. He will be there for you. He will not let you fail. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this reminder of how important it is for us to stand firm on your word and how important it is for us to just continue to love people, Lord, and to share about you regardless of of whatever threats, you know, that may or may not come or whether or not we have friends um, who support us or friends that don't, God, but that it's important for us to just continue to believe in you and to rely on you. We love you, Lord. We thank you for your continued protection. Lord, we pray for our parents and grandparents and other adults that um, have charge over us, God, that you would um, grant them peace, that you supply every need, and that you would just continue to show yourself faithful, Lord. 
We pray, Lord, that in our households, that your Holy Spirit would just be present in our homes, Lord. Fill our homes with love and joy and peace, God. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for another day that you have blessed us with. As we go into this week, Lord, please lead us and guide us and even show us who we can share um, about you to this week. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you for your son, Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I hope you all have a great week. And if you must go outside, please, 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 please wear a mask and socially distance. I'll see you next time. I love you. Bye.